Hi, I'm Renee from Mantis Carts. Uh, today we're going to go ahead and show you how to collapse the uh, Mantis golf cart down to fit into your five and a half foot bed pickup truck. It's fairly simple. It only takes a few a few minutes to get this down. Once you figured out how to do this and you paid attention to the video, it takes like 10 minutes to break this thing down and maybe another two or three to get into the truck and lock it down. So within a half hour, you're pretty much ready to have your cart in the back of your truck and then go ahead and roll wherever you're going to go. So to start this, what you're going to do, you're going to, you're going to uh, screw gun, screwdriver, wrench, whatever you have. Sometimes these are all 14 millimeter bolts up here. You have four different corners. As you can see, all right. And you also have your solar panel disconnect right here. You simply disconnect this there's two little tabs in here that you have to push together and that comes right out. Once you've got that undone, then it's really just a matter of taking all your bolts out of here, which is fairly simple. Uh, you got a washer in here. Get your washer off, make sure you don't lose anything. And you start pulling, you start pulling your pins out on all four corners. Simply, simply lifts up out of the way, and then you can store this where you need to. We're going to put it in the truck right now. Most of your four-door trucks, that, the, uh, the roof will fit in there without any problem. If you have some other means, I've seen people bagging them up and also put them in the back with, their, uh, with the cart. I really prefer you don't do that, but it's up to you again once you figure all this out where you're going to begin to store stuff. So now the next step you're going to do is remove the back footrest. To remove the back footrest, all you're going to do is four thumb screws down here. You simply undo all four of these, there's two on each side. Once those are loose, this will slide out of the way. These can be a little tough from time to time to get them out. So if you do a little wiggling, that comes right out. Now once you've got this off, just push this off to the side for now and get it out of the way. The next thing you're going to do is go ahead and remove your center floor right here. In order to do that, you're going to remove this, this thumb screw right here. Comes right out, just kind of put that out of the way. With an assistant, you grab the front, pull up, slide it forward, lift it up out of the way, and go ahead and move that and store it. Now at this point, your cart's really just collapsing this configuration. You do that. Just going to push on the cowl and you can put the pin right back in. With that pin, with the pin in, what that does, it prevents the cart from banjoing in and out when you're trying to roll it. You can also load the cart manually, or if you have a remote control, you can go ahead and do it that way. All right, hey, it's Renee again. We're going to go ahead and demonstrate now how to load your collapsed golf cart in the back of your pickup truck. Now you don't have to have our pickup truck six and a half foot long, so you really do not have to collapse the cart down to this size. This size right here will allow you to put it in your five and a half foot bed pickup truck. It's a little tight, but it goes in there no problem. You can close the gate and go on your way. So, for today's purposes, we have remote controls that we sell as an accessory with the cart. We recommend that you go ahead and use remote control to load the cart in and out of the uh, of your vehicle. This makes it a little easier, a little safer. You don't have to climb on the cart and worry about you kicking the ramps out. Also, on your ramps, you want a minimum of seven, a seven foot ramp to get your cart up in your truck. Now, if you have a lifted truck, obviously you're gonna have to get a longer ramp. That way the cart will not be struggling going up the hill. That way you don't have to give it a good push to help it. 
Generally, it will walk itself right up the ramp using the remote control. All right, so to demonstrate how to do that, this is your remote control. Your, your letters A, C, and D, you do absolutely nothing with. They don't operate anything. The B button right here is the only thing you're ever going to use to either load or unload your cart. So, what you want to do now is you want to go back to your cart. You want to turn your key to your on position. Make sure your transmission is either in forward or reverse. And then you go ahead and push your button and this thing will slowly start to walk it up the ramp. Word of caution, in forward gear, if you hold the B button right down, the cart will move along pretty quick. So you have to learn to operate the B button by bumping it up and down and that will allow you to slowly walk it up the hill. The other thing is, every time you let off the button, the cart will roll back slightly and the brake will kick in and prevent it from rolling back any farther. So you always want to do this for an assistant, whether it be your, your wife, your, your son, whoever happens to be around to give you a hand, just in case something should go awry. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing rolling up again. The key is on. It's in forward position. Make sure your ramps are lined up. Again, you're hitting the B button. That's really all there is to it. Now to get the cart back out, it's the same scenario. You just flip it in reverse and slowly walk it out. I'll have to climb up in a truck and I'll go ahead and put it in reverse. Okay, so we did show you how to put the cart loaded into the back of your truck. Uh, for demonstration purposes, we just cut the film at that time and just took it off. But it's pretty much the same thing loading it on as it is loading it off. You use the V button, put it in reverse, and it will slowly walk itself down the ramp. Uh, with that said, uh, that's pretty much all there is to loading this thing on and off. Uh, with one other exception, if you do not have a remote control, you can simply move the cart the same way with your with your foot pedal right here. You'll stand on that side and just slowly tap the tap the pedal. It'll slowly walk itself up. Uh, if you don't, if you, if you didn't purchase a remote control, that's actually the other way to do it. Never sit on the cart and drive it up the ramp for safety purposes. Uh, with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video and I uh, won't we'll be making another one soon. Thanks.